Oh, you're cooked. You're so fried, bro. You're so fried. Oh, I'd be pissed. I'd be so pissed. Dude, you can't get away. Alright. Let's run this damage test back one more time. Judgment. At 52 damage. 45% slowness as well. And then let's do smite. It's literally like having staff mastery, bro. Just a flat 31 magical damage. No, that is crazy. And it, it, plus the slowness from faithfulness, bro. No, dude. That's cursed. Okay, so originally I wasn't gonna make this video because I thought Cleric was gonna be heavily nerfed in this next patch because it's um how do I put this you know slightly overtuned. <laughs> Regardless, in the most recent patch, these were the changes made to Cleric. Oh, nice. Okay, new patch, new patch. Hi, pipe, pipe. Not seeing. Oh, Cleric. Cleric's blunt weapon mastery physical attack bonus has been changed from 15% to 10%. Okay, it's a good start. Wait, warlock, druid. Lycan, spell... Wait, you're telling me spellbooks got bought? Wait. Is this the only cleric change? Okay, so if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. But if you've been following me for a while, I've already made a video on cleric and how it was OP a while ago. But now that the meta is more fleshed out, I found the most optimal build. And as some people know, I've always loved the magic staff. And I like to make builds centered around it. Let's just say in this build, the magic staff makes or breaks it. So essentially, it's a smite and judgment build. And uh, usually people would go like smite with um divine protection or just run, you know, spells and smite or spells and divine prop. But but I think that this is the best combo. And with these two skills come out with a perks perseverance, which reduces all types of incoming damage by three, like every single instance of damage by three and protection from evil which reduces all debuffs by 50 percent weak point cutthroat balance uh and the faithfulness which is just dumb op because you get 15 percent more damage on smite and judgment and another 15 percent debuff on move speed with smite and judgment on hit and then holy aura and you might say wait why not blunt weapon master you are using a magic staff from my testing a magic staff does not actually work with blunt weapon master oh something just sold let me just collect that real quick so now the question is, what makes this build so OP? And you already seen me mog two clerics in the intro. So I basically just diffed two other cleric builds, essentially making this one the best one, but that's just my word for it, you know? Um, but seriously though, the stats, 304 move speed, PDR 37.5%. And what makes the magic staff such an integral part of this build is that while, when holding it out, your judgment scales with the magical damage roll on it, which is nine. And so does smite. So if you were using a morning star as an example, you wouldn't get as much magical damage from smite and judgment because the morning star doesn't have a base magical damage roll on it. Here's a clip of me fighting a move speed barbarian and completely destroying him because of this build. All right, I'm going to do live commentary on this one. So I open the door, I see my prey. He was by the hell shrine so I thought he was low. So he gets to run in, but I don't know, it's a little like baity for me. Regardless, I run in hands Hands ready for a, a fight. I don't know. Uh, he keeps backing up. He keeps looking like he has a teammate or something. So I'm kind of sketched out. But I run up to him. Hit that. Oh, yeah. That's 52 magic damage, bro. This guy's cooked. He starts running. He is pretty fast. So I whip out the torch, if you didn't know. Torch and smite. When you hit them, no move speed penalty. But you have a farther reach. It makes no sense. I uh, Don't ask me. So he brings out a pot. He's still faster than me. But I do get one little, you know, hit in. But no smite. He whips out the axe. And then watch this. Look. I just walk away from him, bro. I literally just walk until my judgment and smite her back up. Hit the little jump. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he hits it too. Never mind. I forgot how this clip went. And so I turn around. Judgment easy. Oh, this guy is fried. <laughs> yeah, this is just evil. Okay. Let's let's take a look at let's take a look at his gear. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! All right. So don't ask me why I put the specific gear and stats you should focus after the clip. Um. But anyways. So rule number one for this build. Lightfoot boots, hopefully with a double move speed roll, but honestly, purple lightfoot boots, uh, move speed and physical damage bonus and magical damage bonus, I kind of pass up on these. And then light gauntlets, three agility on gloves is basically like wearing uh, Grave Wolf gloves, but you get more PDR out of these ones, especially if you get double armor rating rolls. Next thing you want to get for 100% is loose trousers. These ones are blue, but they have just good rolls on them. I'd say get maybe purple or legendaries for the maximum move speed. Um, next thing, adventurer cloak. With the true mag on it. Next thing, maybe a Chappelle de Fur. I kind of like running a Chappelle because it is maximum move speed. You could run um, a Spangen Helm. It's actually pretty decent. It's double statted. You get them for pretty cheap. Um, it will be a little more move speed penalty though, but you do get Dex and Agi. 
And then rings and pendant wise, honestly, this is just freestyles, just some stats I wanted. I wanted more HP and I wanted a little more move speed. Um, and then a Ruby Silver Curious, it just met like 106 armor rating on one piece. And it's only um, negative 18 move speed with another physical damage reduction roll on it. But um, as always, if you want like more dexterity, go for like, you know, a freaking Spangin' Helm or go for a Monkey Pendant or go for Rings of Finesse. You know, you want more move speed, go for Agi Rings. Weaponry, obviously a Magic Staff, Legendary, maximum damage roll if you can. And then in your offhand, you actually are going to want a Shield. Now it sounds kind of random because you're not going to have a weapon with it, but if you get double armor rating rolls on it, you take it out, you're like 50% armor rating, maybe 55, and you can just run through doors with your shield out. And you can still judgment and even smite potentially because you can still punch with your other hand if you have a shield out. And it's really good for running past doors you think rogues are at or just sketchy areas in general, just hold out your shield. Um, but yeah, you can still judgment with it out. It's just less damage compared to the magic staff, but yeah. One thing about this build is that it actually does have a counter, and that is Rogue. A landmine Rogue with weak point can actually put you out pretty quick. That's why I recommend you use a shield if you're going through a door they think there might be someone behind, just so you have that extra protection. But yeah, landmine Rogues, you gotta watch out for those on this build. And before I show more clips of this build, with commentary of course, I just want to be known that I literally can't play Warlock. Like, with this class in the game, Smite, High move speed, perseverance, PFE. I can't play Warlock no more. And playing Rogue, you can still play Rogue, but you have to play full landmine. And that's just not fun. So, uh, yeah, this is a call to Iron Mace, bro. Please, please nerf this class. But yeah, enjoy the clips with commentary, I guess. Okay, before I get to the app, I just want to say it's been really hard for me to make videos because HR is like dead. It's people who are just building kits or whatever. And then you want to go Norms. Norms, it's like you're going to get called out. It's like, why are you Timmy stomping? So I only play HR. But there's like no one in there with actual gear. Every now and then I'll get a geared player, but they play like they're so scared. So these are the only clips I really had that were actually pretty funny and entertaining. And actually were kind of like competitive. So, you know, enjoy. So yes, that just happened. He casted a Dark Bolt off his Crystal Sword at me. I judgment him. He doesn't even know what just happened. He's like looking at the ground in confusion. I think he's concussed. But now he's dead, so the pain's gone. No more suffering. You were about to see the cringiest Ranger player ever to ever exist, maybe. So I run up on him. He gets to, he gets to running. He's move speed. I'm still catching up on them because this game so makes yeah, sense. Like traps, bro. And yeah, like I said, there's definitely traps around. There's somewhere there's traps. So I'm looking at the ground and I'm waiting for him to jump because when he jumps, that means he's jumping past one of his traps. Okay, so that's a good judgment. Oh, okay, so that's a shotgun bow. I back up. Almost died. The chase resumes. This guy's just gonna wait for a shotgun bow to come back and try to repeat that, but I drank a pot. He does to go for the door close, but now I know we're in dangerous territory. He's starting to jump, starting to get a little more feisty. There's definitely traps. Right there's there. Trap right there. There's a trap right there. Like I said, how do I know? Definitely another one. And this is just poetic. I mean, really? Like... You know, Car karma will catch up to you, bro. Karma does catch up. You shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Oh, he had nice boots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's pissed. Okay, so in this fight, I'm gonna fight my quote-unquote biggest counter, which is Ranger. So right now, these goblins are kind of just in the way. Don't really appreciate it that much. He starts tweaking in the doorway, and then he turns to me. Classic Goblin Caves AI. I run up on the bloke, buckler out, smoke, ready to be delivered. He gets to running, per usual. Don't worry, I got the cutoff. Goblin comes back, my blood is boiling. He jumps over, my judgment fails. My toes are curled beyond belief. He's running. Okay, that could have been so cool for the clip. Oh, we got the judgment off though, so it doesn't matter. And then, here comes the day of reckoning. Chase around him with the torch. Okay, wait, never mind. I thought I killed him here, it's all good. We keep going, I drink a pot, I go to reset. Okay, run back up on him, he's metting. And the goblin re aggros to me, you cannot make this up. He takes out the bow, don't worry. Okay, never mind, I got hit. Don't worry, I, I dodged this one for sure. Judgment. Now we go for the smite torch. One, two, three, four. He's gone, bro. Not even close. I was just in the game, bro. And as far as video ends, I just want to say these were like my most exciting clips with this build. Everyone else, I literally walked through. Like this was like, I could literally just walk through everyone else, bro. It wasn't even fair. I usually, for the intro for these types of videos, I would get a clip of me getting really low HP and then coming back or just something really intense. I had to make a montage of my kills, bro, because I just couldn't. 
Same with like a demon form build, bro. I just made a montage because it was impossible to kill me. Um, but yeah, I changed my Twitch username to partychip underscore now. So if you've known me as partychip reels, partychip underscore now, go follow that. But yeah, that's about it. Peace.